Hey, hey, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a little message. Put the hand up high. And let me know what you like me to talk about. And don't forget to put the hand up because I have the talk. Uh, I have the habit of forgetting and I won't return to do that. So I do it at the beginning. This topic today is Sorry Black Americans, your old news. A new topic has come up and it's an important one. It's actually an old, 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 old. It's as old as I am. And it still hasn't gotten fixed. All we care about is nothing. The government cares about nothing. To this day, they no longer have to care about anything. Why? Because they're just like YouTube. A bunch of stupids throw stones and a bunch of idiots go wah, 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 wah. Wah, wah, wah. And a bunch of idiots go, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, over and over and over and over. Little black dude can't keep his dick in his pants or in his, his wife. He's putting it in every hole he can find. I'm not saying he's gay, but I'm not saying he's not. All I know is that he's fucking everything that moves. And he keeps going and opening his mouth about things he shouldn't talk about. He doesn't have the right to say anything but the N-word. That's right. Because he's not supposed to be gay, so he can't say anything about gays. He's not Hispanic, so he can't say anything about Hispanics. He's not white so he should shut the fuck up about white people and he's not Chinese he's not this he's not that and that's what I way I have to say it to you people because you people are just assholes out there and you open your mouth and you whine and you whine he said the n-word he said this other word oh my goodness he put on a well we don't care anymore we moved on now there's blacks whites hispanics chinese every orientation of people and they're still have no water at their homes not drinkable water they have to boil their water they have to take care of themselves i thought that had been gotten rid of when i was younger i found out my uncle and his family had a septic tank and I made that joke. What well, wasn't a joke? I made that remark on, hey, uh, I think it was black people, look what jobs were left for you because they have a black man coming over and he's an Uncle Tom. Then they went and got, oh, he looks too white as an Uncle Tom. Let's go get a black man with a fro and he a whole bunch of stupidity like he, he must be Republican comes out of his mouth and not one smart word comes out of it either because the only job they leave for you is cleaning toilets cleaning windows, scrubbing floors, all the stuff that the Mexicans that came over would do. Yeah, let's do those jobs. Yes, you do have a Harvard education, 
But President Trump has only saved you that job. Yes, you do have a Yale education, but President Trump has only left you a job to be the head of janitorial. And nobody gets it. Yeah, we'll all go bloop, 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 a bunch of bullshit coming out of your mouth, but it's just stupidity. And here's these poor people who the government is going and digging holes, putting wells, all that uh, the for as many years as I can remember, that's all we've been hearing. Whatever strutters from all in the family, she got fat and fatter and fatter and fatter and then went to Gilmore Girls. But for years and years and years, she's been asking for money for Africa so that they have water. For years. So if you put the years together and how much money they got, there should be no land left but a bunch of holes filled with water. Then you have the UNICEF. You got all these others that keep swearing, we're gonna give you water. And they still don't have water over there, running water. So a story's being told. People in the reservation have no water. They have casinos, but they don't have any water. Little town Practically closed down because why? The mines have been closed down, but the people there are caring and loving people and they don't have crime. They don't want to leave there to go to your crooked world. Your destructive world. Why would they want to do that? But they have no water. that now drinkable water. They're going over and they're catching melted ice water that usually gets used to make beer. <laughs> then they go to an area where Mexicans live and more and other people cross the street no water they just need a little pipe going across and they would have water that's the same thing it was with my uncle he had to pay for it all those taxes, why are we paying taxes when the damn government, the damn state you've been giving that tax to, won't give you water? Won't extend the toilet, the sewer pipes. The word is won't. It's not that they can't, they won't do it. They're cheap assholes. They keep draining and draining, especially California. They're draining you blind. They're putting taxes on everything. But they won't give you water. They won't extend the pipeline for you to have a toilet the sewer, but they're so willing to charge you money on your taxes. Here we go. The Republicans have their handout. The Democrats have their handout. But 
they no longer tell you anything but garbage. Not one of them tell you anything. All I hear from the Republicans are lies. Lies, one lie after another. Those people don't get water from your lies. The Republicans don't care. All they're telling us is that a, an American hero who went to the moon, who flew in space, went, had to go to China for the American dream, then came back to America after he made his money to spend it. How evil! He's brought all that money back to us! <gasps> dare he? He's not acting like an American Republican! Well, because he's not a Republican. He's a Democrat. <coughs> he made his riches and he brought it to spend it in America. And then... Senator McSally comes and lies on TV. She told you the story. It was a true story, but it was about her people. It was a Republican president who handed out money for the businesses, his friends' businesses, to pack up their businesses and take them out of the country. That was the Republicans who did that. The same thing with welfare. I kept hearing Republican and Republican opening their mouths about welfare. And one day I got off my fat ass which it wasn't fat then, it was really, really, really hot and sexy and small and plump. And I found out it was a Republican bill. So when that big mouth bitch of a Republican came over and said to me about welfare, I said, sweetheart, that's a Republican bill. Why the how would we care? We've attempted to make that bill better so that it would help out our people. But because it's a Republican bill, they won't let the Democrats get rid of it. Because it's a Republican bill, they won't let them reform that bill. See, Republicans don't care if you're dying. They just care about themselves because they put that they don't care. They made it very clear by getting rid of the bill that was going to retrain the police department from killing people, from saying, catch this bullet if you can and shoot and then ask, shoot, and then ask questions. It's ask questions and then shoot if you have to. But that's the Republican way about killing. Trump made it very clear it was okay to kill us. And you still don't get it. McSally keeps selling a whole bag of lies. Oh, bring the pills here. The reason you can afford your pills because they come down over here. Because the pills from America, all the drugs are too expensive. And because they have to compete with China pills... That brings the price down a little bit. And then we have a fat cow going over and saying, I can get my medicine for my blood work. Well, they make it here in Arizona. Right over there. 
a couple of blocks away from where I lived. And this is Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona, where that fat cow's from. But she's still not going to get it. And not because of a Democrat, because Democrats are not in power right now. It's a Republican. She voted to let your medical service decide whether they want to give you medicine or not. It has nothing to do with the Democrats. She voted against it. So you're not getting your medicine because of her. You're not getting your pills because of her. You're not getting your water because of him. Them. You got to force your congressmen to do your do their job. Extend that pipeline over to you to get water. Extend that sewer line to get rid of your sewage. Because all they're doing is throwing stones at each other. They don't care about you. You don't matter to them. None of the Americans matter. All we worry about is giving um, the world help while Americans are drinking poisonous water, when Americans don't have running water in their houses, when Americans have a need, when Americans are being killed, It's up to you. You have to make a decision. Am I important or not? If you're important, then go vote. I am. Because I am important. But are you? You have to decide on that one. I can't do it. I'm voting Americans are important. Americans come first. America comes first. Because I know they don't believe that. Guatemala has no blah, blah, blah. We're running over there. We're taking tons and tons of the food and water and medical and everything over there. Which I say, that's fine. I don't trust doctors. I don't trust police. I don't trust our government. And I especially don't trust this president. Do you? Let me know by subscribing to my channel, leaving a little message, putting the hand up, letting me know you're there, and letting me know something you'd like me to talk about. But remember, AA, see you in church.